Welcome back, fellow pilots. Here we are in the Cessna 152 this time. We're going to do the second lesson on VOR navigation. Let me show you where we are in the world. We're right outside this OPA2 airport. There is the Harrisburg VOR, and we're going to try to use it to navigate to another airport. So let's pop over to Sky Vector here. I'm going to clear my flight plan and show you a little bit about how to use this as a flight plan. So just like I showed you, we're somewhere over here, maybe around Turtle Rock or Shoals, it's not quite sure. We're going to fly to this Harrisburg VOR, and then I'm going to try to use the VOR radials to navigate and find this Capital City Airport. It just says Tal City. So here's where we are. I'm going to add Shoals to our flight plan. I'm going to add the... Harrisburg VOR to our flight plan, you'll notice that it's populating the route I need to fly a heading of 100 for 11 nautical miles to get there. And then finally I'll add this capital city. So this is my short little flight. And I want you to pay attention to three things. Number one, you can see the Harrisburg VOR, 112.5. Don't worry about the channel, but you do need to know the identify is Harris, or H-A-R. And then that's what I meant to say. Da, 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 so we can identify that as we go. Um, let's jump over to the sim real quick. I'm going to punch in 122.5. Get rid of this VOR map. 122.5. I've already got it on my VOR 1. And now let's punch it into my VOR 2. 122.5. Let's watch this VOR 2 indicator come to life when I switch it over to use. There it is. Took a second, but we got there. All right, so we know that if I fly heading of 100, it should take me right to the VOR. We know that because we just looked right here. The heading from my general position to the VOR is about 100 to the VOR. So let's turn the OBS up the bearing selector to about 100, and I should see it start to come in. Oh, man, I'm in a different spot than I thought I was. All right, so it looks like the uh, bearing 2 the VOR is about 120. Same thing is true on this one. They're both tuned to the same thing, so I now have these VORs checking each other. I'm going to turn it to 1, 2. Come on, little buddy. 1, 2, 0. Now, this is where you can have a lot of fun navigating by VORs. I'm going to set 1 to track all the way to the VOR, and then look at my next leg here. My next leg, the heading of 127. If I fly that for 11 miles, I should get right over Capital Airport. So I'm going to set my second OBS here, Omni Bearing Selector, to 127. If I fly that straight on for 11 miles, that's about the closest I can really get at 127. If I fly that for 11 miles past the VOR, I should be immediately over Capital City Airport. Okay, let's unpause and let's fly. You know from the last video, one second, let me get all stabilized here. You know from the last video that if you are flying to a VOR, and you see how it's a little bit to the left as it is here, all I need to do is get to the left and walk on that with a, like a tightrope. I tell all my instrument students that when you are in normal sensing mode, which will be 90% of the time, just keep that looking like a sniper scope and you will be just fine. So I'm getting a scope to the left. Turn on time compression so you can start to see how this is going to look as we get closer. You'll know that we're over the VOR because that two arrow is going to flip to a from arrow. Alright, it's getting a little sens more sensitive as I get closer. I need to get a little bit to the right. My heading's about 130140. Let's get really sensitive. Wait for that flip. Come on. Let me slow it down so I can see where I am in the world. Yeah, I get pretty close. That's why it's so sensitive. Let me trip nose down just a little. There you go. Okay, back on time compression. You can see I'm making those small changes to track that VOR radial. Hey, look at this real quick. Look how my VOR2 is coming in. That means I'm about to go and as soon as I cross over, I'm going to stay on that 1, 2, 7 degree radial. Fly that for 11 miles, and I should be right over Capital City. All right, waiting for that flip. Come on. It's getting so sensitive, it's almost unusable at this point. I'm just flying my normal heading. There's the flip. That means I am right over the VOR right now. I pushed active pause. There we are, right over Harrisburg VOR. Where'd it go? There it is, right over Harrisburg. Okay, so now if I fly one, two, seven, I should be okay. Oh man, this is getting all off. Let me unpause. All right, I gotta look up to my mag compass real quick. 
up as there you are. It shows that I'm flying about 120, so let me turn my heading to 120. There we go. I need to fly 127 on this outbound radial. Now, this is where things get interesting and confusing. I've confused myself here a lot. Now I'm flying from the VOR. I'm flying away from the v VOR, and sure enough, there's my needle reading 127 from the VOR. So I still continue to track this normally, where I need to get to the right to walk on that line. I need to fly for 11 miles, and I should be right over Capital City. How am I going to figure out 11 miles on this airplane? Well, it's a little tricky. One of the ways I can do it is I know I'm flying about 90 knots, or that's about a mile and a half every minute. So a mile and a half every minute for 11 miles. How many minutes would that be? I don't know, maybe between... Uh, between five and ten minutes, so let's call it seven minutes. I think my mental math is right, so I'm going to fast forward. I think it's actually a little less than that. My mental math might be off. All right, I'm going to fast forward. You can watch that clock. Watch how I'm making small changes to track this VOR uh, radial. And I'm going to cheat just a second for demonstration purposes. A little more fast forwarding. Still flying that radial. Uh oh, I see an, an arrow up ahead. I wonder if I'm cheating. I see an airport up ahead. I wonder if I'm cheating. All right, let's slow this puppy down. Let's look on the map, see if I am indeed over the airport like I thought I was. Oh, or that should be Capital City. Let's find out. Close this map. Look up a little bit. Yeah, I think I found it, friends. I think I found it. More fast forward. And take a look at this. I'm going to pause right here. Bam. Pausing right over Capital City. There is the 127 degree radial. Basically centered. I've flown for 11 minutes off of this. It has flown me from this side of the VOR, from around this area, right over the VOR, and I flew it for 11 miles out that way. Let's switch back to Sky Vector so you can see the flight that I just did. I flew from roughly around there, actually. Yeah, somewhere around there. And then I flew to the VOR. And now here I am parked right over Capital City. Folks, I hope that was helpful to you, not too confusing. If it was, will you please uh, leave a message in the comments and I'll try to clarify. In the meantime, fly safe.